what is going on, people. I am here for, if you couldn't tell by the t title, day number 24 of the 31 Days Half October series, which I'm doing on this channel. Uh, for those of you who haven't checked out my past three weeks of this, uh, it is my take on the 31 Days of Horror, 31 Days of Halloween, 31 Days of whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's pretty much my take on the uh, challenge or whatever where uh, people are doing 31 horror movie reviews in 31 days. Uh, so pretty much what it is is you're going to get a horror movie review for every single day of the month of October. Some people love watching horror movies all year round. So you'll have movies that you might not have heard of uh, that you can add to your um your list of movies to watch, or if you're someone who just watches horror movies uh, in the month of October, you'll have years upon years of uh, stuff to watch if you check out everybody who's doing some kind of 31 days. Like I said, I call it a little bit different, and I do it a little bit different. I try to do more independent movies. I try to do them in alphabetical order. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'll have to pivot here and there, but I try my best to stick with that. Um that flow or that that style, I guess you want to call it. Uh, so today's letter is T, uh, but before I get into that, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, if you enjoy what you watch, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. This video, uh, hit that little bell button, even though the next week you'll get a video every day, but for later on, for when I do other reviews or unboxings or anything, hit that bell button so you're one of the first to know. And Comment, let me know what you thought of the movie I reviewed or anything I've reviewed so far or whatever have you. And the, another thing that, uh, you know, will help out for sure is if you share uh, this as well. So this one today, uh, if you couldn't tell by the title, is more of a uh, sci-fi-ish type movie. Uh, it's more of a comedy. So, But sci-fi, in essence, is kind of like an offshoot of horror. You have some, you know crazy uh sci-fi movies um but this one has its share of gore and stuff like that and if you couldn't tell by the title i'm doing a review of tammy and the t-rex this is put out by vinegar syndrome uh this is uh directed by stuart roffel uh it's written by stuart roffel and gary brockett uh it stars denise denise richards uh theo forsett Paul Walker, among others. So pretty much what this is, is um, Denise Richards' character is a popular girl in high school. She's a cheerleader. Pretty much, you know, one of those everybody loves her kind of deal. And it's just, uh, she's the, per the person everybody wants. Anyway, Paul Walker's character is now dating her. But the only problem is her ex-boyfriend is one of those, you know... She ended it, but he wants her back and will do anything to get her back. <clears throat> and that includes killing her current boyfriend. So what happens is there was always a problem between those two. At one point in time, they kidnap Paul Walker's character. They throw him in like uh, the zoo in this lion pit. And he gets mauled and killed and all that stuff. Well, let's just say a zany scientist goes and imports his brain into this big animatronic T-Rex. And his brain then turns this thing on. And now it's out for revenge. And he's now after not only the ex-boyfriend, but all the gang that, you know, kidnapped him and did what they did to him. So pretty much what this turns into is a... Uh, T-Rex on the loose trying to kill anybody that wronged, well, not anybody that wronged them, but pretty much that group of people that did. Um, don't want to get way too, I mean, that's pretty much the plot towards the end, but it is a fun movie. I totally forgot about this movie until Vinegar Syndrome put it out, and I'm like, wow, I think I've seen it once or twice when I was younger, and then I watched it again like two, two or more times uh, since then. But this one is definitely like a zany, like I said, it is, I guess, in essence, more sci-fi-ish and comedy than actual horror. But like I said, it does have its gore aspects. It does have its blood, guts, and, and stuff. So uh, I think it's, it leans more towards the sci-fi gore-ish 
sci-fi horror than, you know, just straight up, you know, going into space and stuff like Star Trek or Star Wars or something. So this is one, I, like I said, is a fun time. It is, uh, you know, I believe it's early 90s, uh, 93. So early 90s cheese. Uh, you have your 80s cheese and then you have your 90s cheese. And this one, like I said, if you can't, um, I don't know if you could tell that second picture with the uh, T-Rex. So like I said, it's like an animatronic T-Rex that now comes back to life. Um, this one's a little bit harder to find on, uh, you know, physical media. I know they, uh, it was like a limited run and then, uh, some of it's sold out, but if you are looking to pick it up, it's got a whole bunch of, you know, special features on the discs and, uh, behind the scenes and interviews with a whole bunch of people, uh, Sean Whalen's in this, um, as, you know, a back, not background character, but he is, uh, he does make a small role in this. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of stuff. Like I said, it's a little bit tougher to find because it was like a limited uh, limited run. You might be able to find it without the slipcover, which might save you a little bit. But this lenticular slipcover is a little bit, you know, more expensive. But that is my T. Uh, letter T, of course. Uh, like I do for all my reviews, I will leave the IMDb link in there so you can check that out. I'll leave the uh, link for the trailer and I'll look for uh, the link for it on... Uh, first, I'll check on uh, Vinegar Syndrome. I don't know if it's sold out on there. I haven't checked. Uh, but if it is sold out, I'll try to put the uh, Amazon link to, to purchase it. But like I said, it is a fun one. It, it is... Um, a cheesy one, one you can kind of like turn off your brain, but enjoy your, uh, uh, all, nonetheless. And, uh, yeah. So like I said, if you've seen this before or you don't consider it a horror, you don't want to check it out or you haven't checked out, uh, you know, didn't care for all 23 other reviews that I've done so far. There's a week left. It's crazy. Um, but if you, you know, like I said, if you, don't care for the movies I reviewed. Check out everybody else who's doing this. Uh, the 13th Wolfman, I Am Ice Lord, uh, Retro Horror, a uh, whole bunch of people doing it. Super Retro Throwback Reviews, Torch the Fennekin. There's so many people doing it. I have a list of everybody whose page, uh, a list of their uh, the links to their YouTube channels. So just check the description for that uh, and you'll find, like I said, a whole bunch of people doing this for the entire month. So you'll have movies to, to watch forever, especially if you're one just to watch it on October. You have years upon years of movies to check out. Also, in the description, I'll leave all my other social media links. Got a Facebook fan page. I got a Twitter. Got an Instagram where I show off the movies behind me. I'm part of the Wicked Horror Show um, that we do live a live podcast every Tuesday night, 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. If we have a guest, it's either a producer, actor, actress, director from indie horror films. If we don't have a guest, we talk horror movies. A lot of the times we have a guest. Uh, so if you're interested in checking us out live, like I said, Tuesday nights, 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Facebook and YouTube. If you're more of an audio podcast listener, uh, we take the audio from that video and we post it the next week on the Dorkening Podcast Network, uh, so you can listen to us there. Also, we have a uh, Instagram for the Wicked Horror Show that uh, we put up, uh, Wicked Horror Show on Instagram, and then uh, check out TonyHasNineFingers.com. It's a new website that uh, my buddy made, and uh, yeah, so... Uh, for everything I talk about, check the description so you can see, you know, anything about the movie and, of course, anybody else that's doing 31 days. And, uh, yeah, like I said, a week left. Fun times. Long week, uh, long month. But, uh, you know, it's always a fun time. So, I guess until tomorrow, I'll see you guys.